Okay, just finished yard scraping this morning. Uh, cows just getting a bit of silage behind me. Um, but uh, today I'm going to actually crack on with um, putting a new rubber on the um, yard scraper just behind me. We'll have a look in a minute. I don't know whether any remember, I did a video whew, at least five years ago where I replaced the rubber on the yard scraper. Some of you might have seen it, some of you might, might not have watched me then. Um, and basically what happens on these yard scraper rubbers, in fact there's one we can have a look at here, is the size of them where you naturally pull forward to almost dig into the concrete and they gradually get worn down, worn down to the metal. And there's a couple of options really. Uh, you can either put a new blade on, which I'm going to do, or you can buy a new yard scraper. Now the Twaze, Twaze yard scraper there, I uh, sort of had a quick quote off someone, uh, about 700 quid for a new Twaze yard scraper, 402. I've managed to get a new replacement rubber for 242 quid including VAT and delivery. So a significant saving there by putting a new rubber on it. Now it's quite involved work, it just gets, well it's not, it's not too bad I suppose, it's just time uh, and doing all the bolts. I think realistically you can only re-rubber these yard scraper a couple of times because uh, after a while the actual frames deteriorate but because the, they're now galvanized um, they're, they last a little bit longer. Um, so I think it's a worthwhile project uh, and I'm going to do that over the next few days. So here's our basically our backup yard scraping. I'm showing you this because it's clean and you can see what goes on. So this is a really old twos. Um, and you can see here after a while the rubber just gets worn right down to the metal there. Um, in fact you can see see the difference. Oh, I've got a lot of dust on my lens here. Now I've got condensation. So that's how they used to do the twos in, in paint, uh, and you see worn, worn there. The actual frame's pretty solid. I have put a bit. That's a bit of old Farmer P's yellow paint on there. But uh, if we go and look at the one I'm going to do, I haven't cleaned it off yet. So this is the, the newer one, the 402, completely galvanised frame, which obviously is a bit more robust. And uh, you might just see there. It's well. We'll have a better look when I've washed it off. It's it's completely worn away there. Um, there is a piece snapped off there as well, which I don't know whether I can repair. It needs a bit of work, but I'm going to basically re-rubberize that sometime in the next few days. up outside the pile I'm just going to give this a blast off with the hose pipe what I can't get off I'll uh, try and get off with the um, pressure wa washer we've got I've got a little pressure washer on the farm not a very good one to be honest um, but uh, I know that this is all quite loose and wet so if I blast most of it off with the hose pipe and then I'll see what I can get off you know whether I can just or whether I need to get the pressure washer out or not, I'm not sure Thank <laughs> you. 
See the worry, the annoying thing is the rubber, the rubber actually at the top isn't that bad. What you've got is uh, the rubber at the bottom, which is which, which when you're pulling forward, wears, and you can see there all worn down. Five minutes ago, I changed this. So the sweet corn goes through cows like it does humans if you don't um, crush it. I'm have to spin this over in a minute. Spun it over now, just doing the this side. Not too bad, coming up quite well, really. I'm going to spin it over again in a minute. I'll flip that over. There's dust in there. Probably get the pressure on it, off washer on it, just for the last bit. I think. I don't really want to do it now because what I do, do, if I do it with pressure on it, just spray that shit everywhere. I mean that much. Blast this out of here. Put the knee on there. Yeah. Not a job for the boys here. Eh? for people who uh, don't mind getting a bit grubby. And when I say grubby, I don't mean grubby as in a bit of mud.
okay so realistically I just caught this in time I think like it's starting to wear right on the rubber it's already taken that much off if I don't do something about this now it'll be too late same with that side so I'm just gonna blast this off with a pressure washer to get it really clean and then uh, ready to sort of that out later okay so here's our little tiny pressure washer it's not the best it's, it's more of a one for uh, doing a patio really it's not a farm one but I don't use it very often, so I haven't bothered buying a, a big heavy duty one. It just about does what I need, just about. Oh, helps if I turn the water on. That always helps. Okay, so I blasted that off a little bit with the pressure washer at the end. To be honest, it didn't really need it. All it was was just get a bit of the muck off. The rest came off pretty well uh, with the hose pipe because I'd already softened it up. It's wet and damp this time of year, so the muck's not too difficult to get off. Uh, we'll have a look at it in a minute. I've got a warning light coming up here, so the battery's flat. So uh, we'll have a look at it. I'm going to drop it off the tractor now. You can see it there uh, looking sparkly. I'll have a look at it in a minute. I'm going to have to go and charge the battery up. We'll have a look later when I've dropped it off. I'm going to put the yellow one on and see how we go on that, all right? got it on the old uh, 135 now not brilliant but um oh, there's a few snails in there haven't used this for ages but um it'll do temporary i mean i don't mind if this one wears out because i'm not right planning to re-rubber this one because i think it's past the the best but it's a good spare should have sorted this out in the summer really i'm a bit up against it doing it this time of year you might remember i cut these bits off here ages ago to put on the a-frame on here people criticize my welding then but they've la it's lasted donkey's years 